The big question everybody wants to know, what is going to be the best heavy weapon in the game? Will it stay the Smuda or will the Decay take over? We're going to do some head-to-head -head tests and then some gameplay. So three second reload time for the Decay, 600 meter range, and the damage can stack up to 200%. But the Smuda, very effective, but very different. A 10 second longer reload, a 500 meter range, shorter range, but you have that homing bullet mechanic, which is insane plus the acceleration rate, plus increased damage to physical shields. So this was a head-to-head -head damage test that I did. I did two different ones. So first, we're shooting at a Luchador on the test server. So this is a 300 meter range. Both behemoths have the exact same modules, no drones, no upgrades, level eight weapons. You'll notice I'm literally just holding down the firing button and seeing which one takes down this Luchador first. This Luchador has exactly 924,000 HP, and it's just sitting there. I'm controlling both of these, or was controlling both of these. And you'll notice, initially, it looks like the Smuda is going to do way more damage, way faster. But then, the Smuda reload of 13 seconds starts to kick in, and that's where the Decay start to catch up. Because the Decay only have a 3 second reload, and that damage is stacking up, up to 200%. So then, the Decay kind of take over. And it's a very different story. You see Luchador on the right, depleting, and boom, Titan Slayer. So the Decay can deal, I mean, in this case, they win the head-to-head -head battle. When there's a ton of HP and they're just firing straight at the robot, the Decay will win. See, look, the Smuda still got to wait, and maybe on this clip, and finally. But what about head-to-head? -head? Very different story. So I literally had both these matched up and I hit the firing button at the exact same time and just saw which one killed and I think the result is pretty surprising. So watch this. Firing button at the exact same time, no drone shielding, no healing. And which wins? They both kill each other, but look at the scoreboard, the Smuda actually won. So why did the Smuda win, but then they lost the first battle? It's because when there's no healing, no resistance, and the HP is pretty reasonable on the test server, the Smuda reload doesn't actually kick in yet because one clip will kill a behemoth. But if it's a very tank, very HP heavy robot, that decay reload will catch up and the damage will stack up. But now that was head to head, some damage tests. Now let's get into some gameplay on the test server with both these behemoth builds. Okay, we've landed here on factory map. And you know what? This is a pretty open map. So we're also doing beacon rush. So I'm going to drop in the behemoth decay first no drones no pilot skills but we do have an advanced repair unit and we have double balance units in a last stand on each of our behemoths so remember we do have a hundred meter longer range on this on the decay as opposed to the smuda and the um the what's it called the reload is 10 seconds shorter which is like a lifetime the damage itself is a bit more difficult to calculate Firstly, because we're only at level 8 in the test server and we can't see it maxed out yet. And the Smuda has that acceleration rate, which changes the damage. Oh, that Jaeger. There we go. This guy's just out of range. But also another thing is with the Smuda, the... Hold on, let's kill this guy. Oh, stop hiding. That Loki's pushing our home beacon. Come on. There we go. There we go. Boom, kill. Smoke that Jaeger. So obviously shot grouping matters more with the Smuda because they're machine gun weapons. But with the Decay, oh this guy's gonna get smoked. Oh double kill, he didn't even hit the ground. But with the Decay, it's the same if you're shooting at 200 meters or 600 meters. Because there's no shot grouping needed. It's completely accurate all the way through. Okay, wait for this guy to drop. Okay there, we're chewing him up. We're chewing him up. There we go, there we go. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Boom. Triple kill. Nice. So I can totally see it on like the live server when these weapons come out. A behemoth smuda and a behemoth decay meet each other on like canyon map. And the behemoth decay will try to stay 500 to 600 meters. And the smuda will try to close the gap. But who knows who will win. We truly won't know until these weapons hit the live server at max level. But it's going to be close. It's just the Smuda. The thing that kind of throws a wrench in it. Oh my gosh. Rampage just smoked that guy. This Hiroshi's shooting at us. 
Stop shooting at me. Frig off, man. Frig off. Oh, man, we're going down. Oh, okay, we went down. We're getting four capped, too. This is not good. But this is also the test server, so nobody cares if you get four capped. All right, we're going to go Behemoth Spuda. The thing that throws the big wrench in it is the, the homing bullet mechanic. The reload and the damage, it's decay all day that rhymes. But the homing bullet mechanic is just so insanely OP. Look at that kill. That it kind of just changes things and you can't really calculate the homing bullet mechanic. It's just, it's just great. It's very good. Double kill. And when I say it's great, I mean it sucks. Oh, this Skyros, I think he just jumped. We're shredding. Boom, triple kill. Smoked. Okay, this guy's dropping. Being able to shoot an enemy when you can't actually see them is pretty absurd. Come on, we got him, we got him. We almost got you, man. We almost got you, bro. You're not safe. Oh, what? We couldn't even get that kill. Oh, my team's about to lose. I wasn't even paying attention to the beacon bar, but my team's going down. My team is going down. Beacon bar is going down. Okay, we didn't die, but my team died. We lost the game. All right, let's get into another game. But that gameplay was pretty, I guess you could call it pretty even. Both builds did pretty well. 1.1 million. Oh, yes, we led the scoreboard. Let's go. Game two. Okay, Shenzhen. But we're going to start with the Raven this time. This Raven build, I've been wanting to try out. But the problem is, on the test server, the Raven is so squishy. It's so easy to kill. We got 160,000 HP. No drone shielding. No last stand. We don't even have a last stand loaded up. That's some good damage, though. That is some solid damage. One cool thing about these weapons, too, is look as these weapons actually reload. The back of the weapons look pretty cool with, like, that biohazard. Um, oh, we did get the kill. So, look, as they're reloading, they charge up, and then that biohazard uh, symbol go was on the back of them. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool mechanic. What is that? That's an Erebus trebuchet. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? This guy's running a, an Erebus trebuchet. Oh, we're going to die. This is why it's squishy. Holy, we just got smoked. All right, we're dropping in. Let's go behemoth decay time. All right, let's see what this thing is made of. Let's see what this thing does. Show yourself, enemy. Whoa, what is this? Scorpion came in. Man, we just landed one shot on him, but it did a ton of damage. 600 meter range is so crazy to me. It's like these are literally super redeemers. Almost double the range of redeemers. Kill. Not sure what the damage comparison is, but better reload. It's crazy that these weapons exist. Oh, Scorpion came back. He came back for more. Double kill. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Is that Erebus Trebuchet back there? I think he still is. I think sometimes be beginner players don't have a lot of, you know, weapons or robots on their real account. So they join the test server and just run the most random builds ever because they just want to try everything. And, I mean, I don't blame them. I probably did the same thing the first time I went on the test server. I think I ran Max Rhinos the first time I joined the test server. I was like, oh my gosh. This was back when the test server content was maxed out, so it was more fun. Okay, hold on, hold on. Triple kill. Nice. Last day triggered in that Hiroshi too. It's still kind of crazy to me that Pixonic makes the test server stuff level 8. It's like you couldn't even make them Mark 2. Because we have no idea what the real potential is of the weapons until they hit the live server. Oh, we're going to die. And then it's too late, but that hammer Erebus just killed us. Alright, let's go Behemoth Sputa. Behemoth Sputa. Uh... All right, let's move forward. The amount of players that run the Behemoth Muta is pretty crazy. Let's get this guy's last stand. Last stand triggered. Okay, okay. Almost. Show yourself. He's hiding. He's hiding. Is he going to come back out? Nope. Ah, that's going up in his ability. Okay, let's run. Ooh, Aroshi is right here. Just that ability, man. To curve your bullets, I don't think anything is... It's It may be the best weapon mechanic in the game. I mean, it probably is. That's why the curving bullet machine guns are so OP. Kill, there we go. What? Bro, oh, that behemoth hammer. 
in their spawn just killed me somehow. He broke through my last stand. What a nerd. What a freaking nerd. Okay, they're rolling out their titans. We have our Gargantua Heimdall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, okay, this guy just... Reverse phase shifted us. That's my, what I call that. Okay. The beacon bar, we do have a beacon bar lead. I haven't been paying attention to it whatsoever. Because this is the test server. And nobody really cares about beacons. Nobody really cares. They just give up the damage. Everybody just runs their favorite stuff. Or they test out the new content. Uh, uh oh. Luchador. Oh, we might get smoked here. We're going to get smoked. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going down. Ah. Okay, let's drop in that scorpion build. This scorpion build, I don't think anybody's going to actually run it on the live server. Because, I mean, maybe people, people will try it out, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because typically with this scorpion, you want, like, fast shotgun weapons, not long-range energy weapons. All right, let's move forward here. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is a terrible idea. We're going in. We're going in! Oh, freak off. Stupid Sharanga, you fat bowl of oatmeal. Is that the same guy? The same guy that was running the Erebus trebuchet is now running a behemoth trebuchet. What are you doing, man? Get your life together. Why is he running trebuchet? What's so exciting about trebuchet? The gauze are better. Use the gauze or the prisma, bro. Oh, this is bad. We're gonna die here. We're definitely gonna die. Can we win this game, though? Is it possible that we can win this game? Maybe. Uh, you know what? All right, screw it. Who cares if I win this game? All right, guys, that is the comparison. I'm going to finish up this game, but that is the Behemoth Smuda versus the Behemoth Decay, or just kind of Decay versus Smuda. Which weapons do you think will be better maxed out on the live server? That is the question. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video while I try to win this game and die. Peace. Spaghetti-o chicken nuggets.